Top seven picks for drugstore foundation. You're going to love how these look on mature skin and we're going to get into that right now. My name is Melissa. I'm 55 and I have fairly dry skin, drier in the winter than it is in the summertime, but definitely more on the drier side. I do have a little bit of breakthrough with a little bit of oiliness um, on my chin and around my nose. But other than that, my skin's got a little bit of texture, a little bit of sagginess. I have a lot of rosacea and things that I'd like to cover and just even out. So those are my main concerns for foundation. And what I'm always looking for in foundation is how does it wear on my mature skin? Is it gonna show up texture? Sure any fine lines and wrinkles I have or any larger pores I have and is it going to cover my age spots the redness that I have and even out my complexion I also want to share with you what I have on for a shirt I'm not going to take a lot of time to do that but I always get asked in every video what I have on so here's a picture of this shirt so that you can see that and what it looks like full length it's kind of a thinner knit I love the neckline on it it's so cute the jewelry the t-shirt all the other makeup that I have on the fingernails everything Thing that'll all be listed and linked down below. All right, let's start ranking these from number seven up to number one. And I'm going to start with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Now, the reason that I absolutely love this foundation is because in the summertime, and I can pretty much wear it through the winter if I want to as well, it's a good foundation for me. It doesn't show up any texture, no fine lines. It doesn't settle anywhere in my skin. And the nice thing about it, because it does say that it's matte, it is a a little bit easier to wear in the summer when you do get that breakthrough. Now, if you're an oily skin person, you might absolutely love this combination. You're gonna love it. Now, if you're super, super dry, you might not like it. But what I do on those days that I wanna wear this, but I'm super dry and it is maybe the dead winter when the heat's on and it's really dry, I'll just put a drop or two of radiant or hydrating primer in it and it works so well. Coverage is fantastic on this and it wears a long time because it is that matte formula. So this is one that I really love. I'm in color 115. Now the next one, number six, is the Wet n Wild. This is the Dewy Finish Photo Focus Foundation. Now I actually have the regular one, the matte one, as well as the dewy one, and I put those two together. And the reason is, is because they just make a perfect natural foundation. And usually that's what I'm looking for in a foundation. I'm looking for not too matte, not too dewy. I just want something that'll give me great coverage, which this absolutely does. And I'm looking for something that's going to even out my skin tone. Now, if you're like me and you can, you know, go ahead and put one coat everywhere, most foundations, and that is the case with all of these, I will have to touch up right through here in this area where I have a little bit of sun damage, I have some scarring, and I have my pores, extra pores and redness there. So I'll put a little bit extra there, but everywhere else, one coat seems to do really good on all of these foundations. Now the matte one on the Wet n Wild is going to be a little bit more coverage than the dewy, but like I said, together, they just seem to be perfect coverage for me. This one wears a long time. I don't see any break apart throughout the day. I can usually get eight to 10 hours on this. And really, I'm gonna tell you right now that all of these foundations, they could be interchanged with the number two, number one spot. They really are good because they've stood the test of time. They've been fantastic foundations for a very long time. And that is definitely the case with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Now in at number five is one that I've been wearing for a very, very long Long time and I have absolutely loved this since the day that it came out. This is the Revlon Color Stay Long Wear Makeup. This one is the normal to dry formula. Now, recently they did add extra hyaluronic acid to this one, and they also have the oily normal foundation formula on this one. So if you're oily, you can pick that one up and I know it's really good because I've worn it before as well. But the one that is for dry skin, it works so good for me. And I love the finish on this. This seems to be kind of a natural matte finish. It's really a soft matte finish and I really love that. Really great coverage on this one. You're getting really high coverage on this one in just one coat of that foundation. And that's one thing that I really love about it. And it is super long wearing, just like the, the name says. Sometimes halfway through the day, you'll look in the mirror and your makeup will be, will be gone. None of these do that. This one in particular, I was trying way before I was a YouTuber eight years ago. So this one has been around and been one of my favorites for years and years. Now in at number four, I actually don't have this one with me. 
because I used it up and I'm trying to use up all these other ones, but a picture will go up right here for you. It is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This foundation, just like its name says, it does look like skin. And if you put that really light coat of it on your face, you're going to find that it is just going to hug your skin. It's not going to accentuate pores or fine lines. It's gonna just go across your skin. It's gonna lay so pretty. And you're going to love the way that it wears. It is a very long wear foundation. I have found that I've worn this for 14, 16 hours and you know, put it on like at six o'clock in the morning, wore it to a wedding and it still looked absolutely gorgeous as the day was done. And I think this is one of those foundations that gets overlooked so much. It's one of them that I feel like can stand up to the very favorite high-end foundations. And I love this foundation and I hope you try it. In at number three is probably something that shocked me the most when I found this foundation and heard about it. Now, years ago when this first came out, by the way, this is from Believe Beauty and it is their foundation. When this first came out, people lost their noodle. <laughs> it was absolutely crazy that this beautiful bottle of foundation, glass bottle, I should have told you about all these other ones too, but this is a glass bottle, has a beautiful gold pump on there. This one for years has been $5. Now it might be more because I haven't bought it in about a year, but let me tell you that this is one of the most perfecting, natural finish, gorgeous foundations that you can buy out there. I have never seen anyone pick this up and that they were disappointed. Maybe the color, but not the fact that it wore perfectly throughout the day, the fact that it was that beautiful coverage on your skin without looking cakey or anything like that. It is just a gorgeous foundation. Your other makeup, your blushes, your highlighters, anything like that is going to apply so beautiful on top of this foundation. I haven't seen anybody talk about this one a lot lately, but I'm here to tell you, I reach for this one when in doubt, I believe. I believe in Believe Beauty's foundation. They're just that good. And I think that you will love it too. Something has bumped my number seven limp, lift and loop. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. In at number two, something has bumped my number one, which is the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Serum Foundation with a sunscreen SPF of 15. It's bumped it down from number one. Now, if you've been with me, you know that since my channel started, that's about the time that this foundation came out from number seven, and it's about the time that I fell in love with this. And this has been number one in every single one that I have put up of my top foundations at the drugstore, this has been there. I actually did have somebody else talk about that this might be going out of stock. I contacted number seven, it's not going out of stock. It's just that they were repackaging and they were trying to update their bottle and everything and so it looked like it was going off of shelves when it really wasn't. So this is the most beautiful natural finish on my 55 year old skin. As far as a natural soft finish, this is it. This is just perfection on your skin. In two coats, it's not going to look cakey. You can wear two coats no matter what your age is. It has that property of just making your skin look lifted and hydrated and absolutely perfected. And I, I can't say enough good about this. I wear this one in cool ivory. It's been a color that has just been perfect for me. And that's the other thing that I love about number seven is they have the cool and the warm down just 100%. And this foundation will wear on me no matter what time of year it is, it wears like an absolute dream. So again, it's a glass bottle with a pump. I love that about it. So even though it's at number two, it could very easily be at number one because it's that perfecting, it's that long wearing, it's that beautiful on mature skin. I think you'll love this. Now, in at number one, it's been out for years. It came out when I was a YouTuber of about six years, and it was just one that everybody went nuts for. However, it gets swept to the side because there's so many others out there. But last year in 2023, at the beginning of the year, I rediscovered the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, and I've got other foundations all over. Let's just buff her up a little bit so she looks really pretty for the camera. I love this infallible pro glow foundation from them. This is such a good foundation for a mature woman because it doesn't go on feeling like it's a dewy foundation. It's just a glowy foundation. Now I do have this one on this side of my face today and I do have the lift and illuminate on this side of my face just so you know. It just 
looks like skin and it looks like just this soft candle light -like glow on your skin if you have not tried this before i really encourage you to if you're a mature woman and if you're somebody that has dry skin i think you'll love it as well the one that is a the pro matte formula it is also nice so if you are an oily person you might really love that one this one might not be as good for you but i found that trying both of them this one just works absolutely gorgeous on my very dry skin does not show up any texture doesn't settle into fine lines and this lasts on my skin so long you know when l'oreal says that something is infallible it's talking about how long it lasts how good it lasts on the skin and this one doesn't disappoint in that department you can wear this for hours and hours and it's still going to look like it did when you put it on in the morning. So definitely at the number one spot this year was the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I know we get bombarded by foundations and concealers being released all the time, whether they're high end or whether they're drugstore, but sometimes the tried and trues are the ones that we need to go back to and just look at them and go, hey, I really did love that. Why did I stray from that at all? If you have a foundation that you are in love with from the drugstore and you've worn it, forever or if it's brand new and you just found it then let me know down in the comment section i always love to hear from you and who knows maybe it will show up in one of my next videos let me know though if you've tried any of these or if you've gotten away from them and you're going to go back to them i'd love to hear that as well thanks so much for spending some of your time with me and i hope everybody is doing really well come back around soon and see me in my next video love you much goodbye